Good morning, everybody. Thank you guys so much for coming into SlideCon 2020. Woo! <laughs> I appreciate each and everybody here for joining me in this moment and us coming together to really discuss and as the youth to discuss how we're going to move Sierra Leone forward. Um, in our daily and professional lives, everybody does things that propel Sierra Leone forward. And this platform that we have today, I want to, I want everybody to really showcase what has been happening in your platform and in your field and how you've been using that to, you know, push the country go before. So without further ado, I'm going to allow everybody to introduce themselves. I am Paris Gold. I am a content creator. I'm an artist. I am a music enthusiast and also somebody that is willing to propel our entertainment industry forward through songwriting and providing services behind the scenes for artists and artist development and growth. Okay. Um, next, we're going to go to Marjo. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Marjo Bona. I'm the CEO of Kukurubix Entertainment. Um, Kukurubix Entertainment basically started off as um, a dance fitness program, which was Kukurubix Workshop, and I expanded it trying to promote health, wellness, and tradition through dance. So um, now it's an entertainment company. And um, yeah, I dance, I model, I, I do fitness, um, dance fitness. African dance fitness. Um, yeah, I'm a personality, um, a Sierra Leone face, Sierra Leone sweetheart. So yeah, um, that's about it. I could say, yeah, entrepreneur, businesswoman. So yep, that's me, Marja Bona. Okay. Hi guys, I am Reiki Atu Adama Van Gura, also known as Queen Rocky, Reiki, all of the above, Miss D, for those that really know me. Um, I am an entrepreneur. I am known as an ABA therapist, applied behavioral analysis. I am also a service coordinator. I am a professional dancer. I am a hairstylist. I can do, you know, jack of all traits. Let's just say that. Um, I am big on um, my showcasing my awareness on autism, as well as, you know, promoting my company, which is Adama Dance Agency, which I'm the CEO of. We are guiding up and coming art, um, dancers, artists, you know, DJs in that aspect. So, yes, that's me. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. nice. Thank you, Rocky. You can go next. Yes, no. <laughs> so, my name is Ziggy Batman. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, Ziggy. I'm a. Uh, you know, I'm a sound engineer, producer, and uh, IT specialist, a professional hacker. Uh, I'm a CEO of uh, my own company. I have a music label. Um, no. <laughs> that, 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 okay, thank you. We appreciate you. So we thank you for, you know, continually you know, growing and expanding the Sierra Leone community and also, you know, what you do. We appreciate that. Thank you. Next, Miss Beautiful Admire. <laughs> Hi, guys. My name is Admire. Um, I'm a hairstylist, an entrepreneur, and I'm also the founder of um, Sierra Leoneans Killing It page on Instagram. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, my goal is to meet, network, and connect with Sierra Leoneans who are killing it positively in our community so yeah <laughs> and if you're a Sierra Leonean and you have not been on her social media I do I've not know it. what's happening there I've been there I've been killing it with her too I've been there <laughs> man great great okay oh so now we got next um Mohammed good day everyone I'm Mohammed Jambai Kane a clinical student at the College of Medicine and Allied Health Science, University of Sierra Leone, 2018-2019 and 2019-2020 season. And I was appointed as well, or elected, as the Vice President of Sierra Leone Medical Student Association in 2019 December. 
Mm -hmm. And recently, earlier this week, I've been appointed as the as a member of the Monitoring and Evaluation Unit, Federation of African Medical Students Association. So that's all for now. Thank you. People only work where they do that they can't see the people eh? and the med school right. where they go. May God continue for giving the age yeah. and book or continue and finish that. All right, next we got Troy. Hi, Mr. Massa. How are you? <laughs> Hey, how are you guys? My name is Troy Massa. I am a celebrity creative director, but first and foremost, I'm founder of the international nonprofit called Africa Gives Back International. We provide clean water to countries, uh, help out with education development, and as well as health infrastructure. Um, Salon is my country, Sierra Leone, so we're definitely doing a lot of work there. Amongst um, six other countries that we're working in West Africa, East Africa, and as well as um, in the Caribbean. I'm a creative director, um, celebrity creative director, and as an international public health scientist. In other words, I have a science background. Also, I have a passion in creativity, and I merge them together to see how we can help each other and give back. Nice, nice. By the time everybody has listed here, you should know that Sierra Leone is well up and out. Everybody here has some type of background in science, health, IT. Everybody here has some type of creative outlet and everybody here has a professional outlet. Tips my hat off to you. Uh, Mr. Ralph. Yes. Please, could you introduce yes. yourself? Yes, my name is Raphael Say. Uh, I'm a... I would say universal or serial entrepreneur. Um, I own a clothing company named Royal Dynamite. Um, we're a one for one uh, give back company. So for every item purchased, we donate um, school supplies, educational packages to children in need. Um, starting in Sierra Leone, uh, we've donated over a thousand uh, packages there. And then we've uh, donated to five other countries. First Sierra Leonean Subway franchisee. I know that for a fact. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah so that um, uh, just just well-rounded all around, you know, aiming to be a financial guru, uh, just moving to the financial services space and um, aiming to take all those skills back to Salon, open up the first uh, Subway or the first um, fast food franchise opportunity in Salon. Um, and aiming to take financial literacy back home as well, too, and learn, teach them how to move the money in order to create wealth. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. I'm in need of IG, man. I need that. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, man. Beautiful, oh, beautiful. Man. Okay. All right. Honestly, Mr. Rob, that is wonderful. And thank you for all that you do and how you continue to give back to the people. That really means a lot because every sale literally changes somebody else's life. And so right. there, there, there's a beauty in that and the magic is in that. So thank you so much. We appreciate thank you. you. Thank you. And overall, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. So now we're going to get into the discussion. Um, you know, we're all Sierra Leonean, no matter where we may find ourselves, our roots continue and will always bring us back to our country and our continent, Africa. And um, there are a lot of wonderful people in Africa doing great things. But most importantly, we cannot forget about our own, you know, our country and how we can propel them forward. You know, there are neighboring countries that are growing. There are neighboring countries that are doing things. And there are also people in our community that are doing exceedingly well. But we're never as celebrated as we should or put on that forefront to say, okay, well, we begin there. I'll make we up una for make you una continue for make the country go before, you know? And so this is really what it's all about. And I just wanted to shake heads and not only shake heads, but talk to those that I know that are doing the work and putting the work back into the community in their daily lives. You know, everybody here creative, creatively, professionally are doing something and creating their brand that all, at the end of the day, benefits Sierra Leone. Because where you go before, Nami go before. Where Rocky go before, Nami go before. Where Troy go before, Nami go before. Where uh, Marjo go before, we all they go before together. So I just want to make we just clear out that mindset, whether they say salon people there, we not support each other. Because we do. Because look, Corona time, we're here supporting one another. Yep. And we're making it happen. Making it yeah. happen. Before Independence Day, this is our little independence celebration. 
Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate and, each and everybody. And yeah. also, I get a song we I did do, but I'm not sure if I want to pull on. Uh, when you decide now, you go make me continue. <laughs> when you decide, you go make me continue. <laughs> okay, so the next question um, that we're going to go to, right? Mm -hmm. In your field, what have you been doing that propels Sierra Leone? And I'm going to start with you, Miss Rocky. Okay, so um, for me, as I've stated, I'm, I, I wear a lot of hats. So for me, being well-rounded is very important to me. So as an ABA therapist, um, one of the biggest things that I'm trying to do or what I've been advocating for is just having that awareness in our community of autism, you know, because it's not really talked about, it's not really addressed in our community. Um, so that in that aspect, I've been doing that as far as my creative side as a professional dancer, choreographer, and um, creative director. I think last year I did for the month of April, I did a complete all salon tribute with promoting like the different artists that people may not know, you know, our music isn't really out there as much as it should be. Mm. So having other people um, ha have that exposure to our culture to our music was very important to me. And I think daily, anywhere I go alongside with um, my big sis, Marjo, who is breaking barriers out here in this world for us dancers, as well as my big cousin, Troy, who is live. Um, as a family, I think it's very important for us to always promote and give back to our country. So I think with the help and support of others around me, I've been able to continuously do that, be it in my professional world or my creative world. So that is, that's me. That's, that's how I do that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. As an entrepreneur, a woman of multiple hats, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I even appreciate the fact that you're creating awareness to all of these things. And you're also in your professional life. You're, you're the business, sis. Thank you. Like, that's all I have to say. Thank you. And um, I'm going to come to me next. Um, what I'm doing in my field that propels Sierra Leone, well, as an artist and as an entertainer, and also not just an entertainer, but um, as a nurse practitioner student, I feel like it's very important that I want to show the Sierra Leonean, not only show, but teach the Sierra Leonean entertainment industry that Yes, you can be creative and you can have papers to prove, you know, yes, you can be creative because a lot of the situations at times they say that artists back home, how are we using to propel the country? We need to uplift ourselves. We need to educate ourselves, educate the community. And so one of my, well, one of my strong students every day is continuously raising the bar for Sierra Leonean music, even as an up and coming artist, even in my platform writing songs and writing things that are of credible um excuse me writing things that are of credible value that will uplift the country internationally so they're not for just play salon music now salon no more i want serial music to be played you know in london in china in france all over the world internationally because we deserve that our country deserves to be celebrated all over the world and so really using that platform and really bringing Sierra Leonean music to that standard that yes we we can be played on the radio too you know we can be we can be pushed out there and so um through songwriting and assisting other artists and full-on working not only from my artist creative side and content side but mostly also too as a student you know really teaching and saying all right with a get one degree yeah you know, we didn't get this year, but, and then you get some team back for back it up, and then you still have your talent to do. And so that's just basically what I want us as Sierra Leoneans to get enlightened, that we can uplift the standard of Sierra Leone, the entire entertainment industry, that the DJs from, they don't only just play um, selected songs, but really play your own country songs, really promote your country songs, whether you're not in Sierra Leone, whether you're abroad or wherever you are really play your own songs because that's how people are going to be drawn back to your culture and that in turn allows the country to grow so every day um 
I that's my drive for Sierra Leone and my drive for Sierra Leone music and in my field, how I feel like Sierra Leone, I can be of use to Sierra Leone and push that on forward. So that is me. Okay. And then next, we're going to go to Miss Beautiful Marjo. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> like, I got, I got so into listening to what you guys were saying, I forgot the question that you asked. Can you please ask again? Yeah, I said how, okay, how in your field do you push your Leon forward? Okay, so um, in a brief, like I said before, um, I'm a dancer. Not just a dancer, but I'm a businesswoman, an entrepreneur, and a youth, let me say like a youth entertainment advocate. Mm -hmm. And also, um, I can say I stand in the gap for not only young Sierra Leoneans who want to take their um, entertainment career further, but um, people all over the world, because I have like fans like from like different, different countries, but I always represent Sierra Leone first. Mm -hmm. So I was born and raised in America, but my family is, is from Sierra Leone. I've been to Sierra Leone about two times. Mm -hmm. And the two times I've been to Sierra Leone, I feel like I needed to start there with the project. Um, Cocorobics is all about promoting health and wellness and entertainment. Um, going to Sierra Leone, I believe... Um, there are so many talented people in Sierra Leone that never got the chance to even explore it because it's a stigma that if you're not a lawyer or a doctor, you're not you're not somebody. Like if you're not a magistrate, if you're not a honorable, you're nothing. And I won't say that I'm the only one, but I believe that I'm one of the Sierra Leonean entertainers that prove to the world that yes, you can you can be an entertainer and you can do so many other things to entertain. Me. So, like I said, um, I do dance classes and I teach people to exercise and how to dance. So there's this is a Sierra Leone who they just dance for fun and they never earned a dollar from their from their talent. Mm -hmm. When I went to Sierra Leone, I hosted um a few dance classes and recruited some dancers under my company Cocorobics. And some of those dancers, them working with me, that was their first time ever getting paid for mm -hmm. their talent putting food on their table from their talent. Wow. Performing at some of the biggest events in Sierra Leone through Cocorobics. So I believe Cocorobics Entertainment is providing like a j jobs to yeah. entertainers. Yeah. You can g make money from your talent. You can do something. You can be somebody from your talent. Mm -hmm. And I always want to give hope to those who felt like, oh, like me, na banana seller, I know we're able I know we're able to be anybody. Like even though I get the talent, I know we're able to show them out because people are going to say I do. So I have to mix the Creole and the English. Yeah, yeah, talk talk about in English. In it is sweet. Let's talk about Creole. Yes, okay. So like example. Um I like I said, I did an audition for some dancers because I want to recruit them, train them up, and let them be able to have a business mind. Not only having a talented mind, but having a business mind because my dream is to have the first um, dance school and gym combined in Sierra Leone. Wow. Like a, a youth, like a youth program center. You know, like in America, we have YMC and all of that. Yeah. Sierra Leone, we're not going to know who side young creatives can go mm -hmm. and actually work on their talent and do something mm -hmm. and, you know, come together and help each other, teach each other. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. For example, just like what Reiki said, we have um, our Sierra Leonean sisters here in America. We do things, we teach each other, you know, one person don't you know everything. So if we get our space, they usai young creatives and we will go and mm -hmm. they teach each other, learn, grow from each other because when you're not exposed, you need to know nothing. If you need to say, no. like, now you are going to be something, like, right. you need to grow. So you right. get for learn from other people, even young baby, they able to learn from her. Right. So I need that space. I need to get that space. Usa go able to get at them people in there. For many able to come together and grow together. And since me don't go through that stage day, I'll be able to oversee all of that and help them grow. And maybe then go even go farther than I've gone. But for the fact that I've been the stepping stool for it, that makes me feel proud that, you know, I've done something. So I feel like that's the way that I'm uplifting the Sierra Leone youth. Mm -hmm. Um, like I said, I've been to Sierra Leone about two times. And those two times I've made it like my point of duty to promote young Sierra Leone talent. So, yeah. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Man, that is wonderful. Thank you so much, um, Marjo, because what you just talked, so you just 
touched, you hit a, a nail that was very important that anybody that has talent in that country can now get paid, right. can get paid for their talent. Mm -hmm. Not one thing no more, not so for just can't sing and dance no more. You get what I mean? You can get paid for your talent. And the financial part about it, that's why I'm appreciative for this conference. We have everybody that touches and is, you know, certified in different fields and can talk about all of these things that are happening. So we appreciate you, Ms. Marja. Thank you very much. No problem. Um, Hindalo, I'm going to go to you now. Could you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Okay. Can everybody hear Hindolo? I think. Barely. 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 Kinda. Can you put the phone to the mic? Though? Hold on. Wait, let me. Okay, Hindolo, can you? I'm so sorry. I, I don't know what's wrong with um, my. Now we can. I'm doing it so that you guys can hear me. Okay, great. Great. <laughs> And we want to ask you, first of all, if you could please introduce yourself and if you could tell us how you're moving Sierra Leone forward in your field. Yes. Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kendall Steven. Um, I'm presently the programs manager and the head of communications for the Quintic Youth Family. It's a youth, youth led organization. Um, we also ensure that youth in Sierra Leone, not just in Sierra but every part of Sierra Leone, preaches what I call patriotism. We want youth to become meaningful people in society, for the youth of Sierra Leone to actually take full responsibility for their actions. And so we go all about the country preaching about patriotism, talking to our fellow youth. And not just that. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Mm -hmm. Yes, and not just that. We, we started in speech, and I came up with the idea that it's not just about talking to the youth, it's not just about telling them about patriotism, how to become meaningful people in society, how to be law abiding citizens. But we should also get them doing something and engage their minds in doing something. And we came up with the idea that in order for us to keep these youth busy and contribute to national development, let us push the season. Um, the season is the technical and vocational and educational training program. Mm -hmm. um, it's geared towards improving the middle level manpower of Sierra Leone. Because we know that the informal sector makes up a huge talk than the formal sector. There are lots of people who are not educated. There are lots of people who actually they have the skills, but they can't tap into their skills. There are lots of people who want to do something, but do not have the motivation or do not have the capacity to do something. And so we thought the to come up with um, the program, the TVET, the previous proposal that we that we, we wrote and sent to the Ministry of Planning and Economic Development, I personally did the presentation to the Ministry to see how we can um, push on two things. One has to do with farming and awareness raising campaign, popularizing the civil policy, and see how we can let the youth out there know about what is civil. What are the things that actually exist in the season? Uh, we talk about one. Um, we talk about the mechanical sector. We talk about the carpentry, hotel management. We talk about agriculture. These are sectors that people do not actually engage in on a normal basis. And yet we are seeing that there are youth unemployment. Um, large number of youth are not actually employed. And so if we bring up the season, and if we popularize the TVET, if institutions are built, and if we tell people that your standard of living can actually be increased, the uh, things that you are not engaged in, you will have your mind engaged in something. And so as an organization, we do it feel that this is one way that we can actually solve the problem of youth unemployment. Mm -hmm. Taking for the children sector, mm -hmm. um, increasing employment, and see how we can bring more people on board. That is, we cushion the burden. It lessens the burden of the government to provide employment for the youth. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is 
wonderful. Thank you. So as an organization, that is what we are actually championing at the moment. It's something that we want to pioneer. We want to take the full lead in ensuring that we promote civil sincerity. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. And we appreciate the work that you're doing on ground because um, that is one important, well, one of the most important things is creating jobs in Sierra Leone. And that's one thing I appreciate about everyone on this panel is that we're all trying to create jobs in some, and somehow in our field, we're all CEOs and founders of something. And we're all trying to create jobs for the countries to create and uplift the youth so we all can move forward. And so when one person moves forward, we all move forward. And imagine there are people in Sierra Leone that are graduating with degrees and should be able, like powerful degrees at that, and should be able to get a job and should be able to get, um, to have these work enforcements and have all these things to be done, you know, and so, and not be idle. And so that is one way. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Next, we're gonna go to um ad, uh, uh, admire. Okay. Um. So I'm a hairstylist. So as a hairstylist, I definitely want to put Sterling on the map. Like Majo said, um, the stigma needs to end that you need to be a doctor or like a nurse to make it out here. And you can make it in the beauty industry too. So I want to encourage other Sierra Leoneans are like into braiding and stuff like that, just to tell them that you can make it like, you know, just from what I've been through from my journey. And then the Sierra Leonean, um, the Sierra Leoneans Killing It page, I just, I started going live with people that are Sierra Leonean and killing it, which, which is really amazing, you know, like, so it's like um i enjoy doing that i enjoy networking with people the goal for that page is for us to actually have networking events and meet up and and vibe and you know support each other not just meet with each other but support like if Majo is performing somewhere if somebody from the page can go su um, support by buying the ticket and actually attending the class something like that that's what we need to do so um my goal is definitely to make Sierra Leone famous. Whatever it is that I do to make sure that Sierra Leone is put on the map first. So, yeah. Thank you. Because you are definitely sharing um, Sierra Leone in a positive light. You need to post the, the bad side of the country. You need to go post mm -hmm. the Tiwata. You need to go post the, the, the... No, seriously. Because I, I got to commend you for that. Because it takes a lot to uplift the people. You make people want to come to Sierra Leone. You make people want to know, oh, Sierra Leone is lit. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the media, and especially with the media, the way, the, uh, the way that Sierra Leone has been portrayed in the media is really not the way that it is. Because when you go, we know so they enjoy. We really mm -hmm. they enjoy so yeah. and, I, and i'm glad that you get to showcase that and with social media being so powerful to the youth and for people that over and that way they you know in Sierra Leone or here or you know anywhere of the world for them to connect with the culture in a positive manner so that's really dope and we appreciate that big time thank you so much biggie bad man come on <laughs> how have you been propelling Sierra Leone in your field well, um, we just talk about the music side. Um, I'm a producer. I've worked with different artists from Ghana, Nigeria, and, uh, you know. But um, the thing I want to say, I want to come to Salon. I want to go Salon. I want to talk about Creo. Yeah. Yeah. So that I go get, you know. <laughs> but I work on Salon. Um, my idea is I don't work with for cool producers them. I don't get the idea. And um, all my songs then we I, I do, I feel say if I go salon, I go will help out a lot in terms of let like, the sound quality wise, the ideas and the way how me the speak say then get for add more. And I get people in what they talk to not me Facebook we then get talent. But like they don't have they don't get that studio so and they go. Then go tell them say, okay, I will make for you this beat. You can't record. 
for free for now until we see say you don't begin to make money. But, um, what do you mean they plan for do? Are they try for go take them talented people here? Yeah? Are they put them like in a team? Are they put them? Are they create like a contract? You not get for pay me now, but as time goes on, we don't begin to make shows. You know, you could pay me small, small. So down the all go bull makes you know because we get talent, we get talent, we are super talented, super talented. But make finance or like I'm not just like we at the see people we get talent. They stand for going to a studio or for type of work with a producer because the producer they only take and say if you don't pay me. Mm-hmm. You know, like I'm not going to work for you. Me, I, I know they stay under where they, I get people in yard too, we, that they deal with, and know they take them as, if you don't pay me, you know, I they take and say, you know, they don't want for salon. You know, I just want for me, we reach to that point where as you go now the club, all they listen to, like Ziggy Badman, Ziggy, you know, and you they listen to LAG, all them. People there, but you know, I'm gonna claw all and listen to a banana following you. I mean, I don't get you know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't get you know, and I know the time for say anything bad about that, but I just want for me to reach that peak because just imagine we don't suffer a lot, you know, me and born me during the war, so I know, and all that and they all they make, I just want to go in a salon and just go try for put me on input. <clears throat> You know, so now then they need the type for work on right now. Wow. Wonderful. Thank you, Z. Wow. Thank you. That's really dope. And you did solve a problem where a lot of people are struggling. And, you, and that's, again, like artist development. Right. You're developing and cultivating new artists for Sierra Leone industry that can actually stand with the test of time. Right. And that is a problem that you're solving. And we just thank you for that. We appreciate all that you do. So tips off to you. <laughs> <laughs> Troy Master. Hey. Hey. How have you been cultivating Sierra Leone through your field, sir? Um, well, as you know, all of us on here are multifaceted individuals. We're all entrepreneurs. So I'm just gonna break it down in different sections <laughs> to okay. make it easier for myself at least. Um, in the creative space. I'm always putting Sierra Leone in the forefront when I am Sierra Leonean. So anytime I am public, anytime I do have an opportunity to put anything African related into something, I'm definitely putting it in. That's how I've been, you know, published and found by Glamour Magazine, who noted that I am, and I take it as this, Sierra Leonean, that Sierra Leonean is a cre- the creative in the continent, a creative from the continent who's really doing things. And they've noted that from us. So as I get any like recognition, it's for the content, it's for our country and it's for our continent. But beyond that, um, in the creative space, I want to make sure that people know that Sierra Leone has a lot of creativity. Sierra Leone has a lot of skills, has a lot of talent. And I don't want them to always think of the you know, the more popular countries, uh, you know, I don't want to name any, but you guys already know. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, I'm going to name it. To, uh, Nigeria, Ghana, <laughs> anytime you hear of <laughs> those countries. Me, what yeah, anytime you hear of those countries, I love them. Anytime you hear of those countries, you think it's like, oh, it's awesome. But they're forgetting that we are the country that had which university, one of the first universities in West Africa, yeah. Yeah. if not in Africa, an accredited one. Corbin College, like let's not forget it. People used to fly from all over the world to come into our country. Yeah, that was a golden age, but that was all a golden age is whatever whatever you put your mindset on. But anyways, um, on an entrepreneur on a development level, I am actually um, a real estate agent. I am a company. So as a real estate agent, I make sure that I focus my needs on helping the immigrant population, helping our, our brothers and sisters to understand how to get into real estate, how to get commercial properties, how to build, how to make money, and how to have financial longevity, how to create something for yourself. Um, as a, also in the field of um, creativity, I'm also a designer. A lot, I've, just because I know how to do math and science, 
doesn't mean that I can't have a creative edge. So I make sure that, hey, I'm a Leonian. You don't have to, like uh, Marjorie was saying, you don't have to be a doctor or only be a doctor or a nurse or a lawyer or X, Y, and Z. You can do many things. You can either go to school for that, but that doesn't mean you have to leave your other passion. So I'm trying to break that barrier, just like all of us on here, to show that, hey, yeah, you went to school for one thing, but that doesn't mean that's the only thing you are good at. God's given us a lot of skills, so why don't we use them all? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's how I'm trying to put Julian on the map. Also, on the um, philanthropic side, I collaborate, and I actually have my own nonprofit organization. We've helped over six countries. Um, we're focused on medical stockpiles after the Ebola outbreak. Uh, right following, we helped the, the region of Cambia, and we created a medical stockpile. Some people may not know what that is, but that's if you know the salon um, hospitals and clinics, we don't really have the equipment. We don't really have the supplies readily available. Okay, so that means if you can get some in there and make a stockpile like how we do in the Western world for emergencies, you will be good. For instance, the Ebola outbreak, if we had some sort of you know, system in place, which we've learned from, look at Julio now, the COVID virus, we don't have as many cases compared to the U.S. or anywhere else. But anyways, um, we've helped, I, for Sierra Leone, we've helped with water, clean water sources, and as well as um, library infrastructure. So that's how I'm helping to push forward with Sierra Leone. So creative side, philanthropic side, and also the development side. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, my brother, we thank you. <laughs> we give God all the glory. We thank you. Thank yeah. you. We thank you for a lot that you're doing because, number one, this is what I say when I say that people that are actually doing the work, you know, um, just to touch base on what you said, um, Troy, even throughout um, throughout that uh, Ebola period, there was so much money generated into the country, but the people didn't see that. And so the fact that you can now create a an organization like Agby where you guys are actually every proceed goes back to the community. That is the point of it all. And you're making a difference. You're creating clean water sources. You're assisting with the hospitals. You're doing the work and things like that cannot go unnoticed. And I appreciate that like wholeheartedly. Thank you. I Sierra Leone, we thank you. Like we really thank you. And it's a group effort. A lot of them on here I've learned from. So like Ralph, I met him when I was just even doing photography for a minute. Wow. Marjo is helping a lot extensively. Reiki is helping a lot extensively. And I, I you know, I, and also um, you, Jazz, and everybody else here. So thanks again, Jazz. We appreciate you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Um, okay, next we're going to go to Mohammed. How you doing, Mohammed? You okay over there? I think you have to take it off of me. Oh, Hello? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, great. Um, so we want to ask you, in your field, as a med student and as an ab- a health advocate, um, what are you doing in your field that propels your young forward? Once again, thank you all. <laughs> At first, I wanted to do engineering, you know, because my dad did engineering, civil engineering, but later on I said no. I was going to go in for um, medicine because I later on knew I had something that I'll take to my people, not within the urban area, but right across the country, nationwide, you know. 2018, I decided to go to Ghana. I went to Kumasi and on the Slemza. And Medical Student Association, it's under the umbrella body, International Federation of Medical Students. I went to, Ga- to Kumasi as a general delegate, and I went there. But at that time, because firstly, in Slims, we have standing committees, different standing committees, committees on public health, um, professional exchange, um, human rights, um, medical education, um, and reproductive health and HIV AIDS, and many more. We have about six and had the, the experience for the first time. 
you know, for African region meeting within Africa. Yeah. And I learned so many things because I met new people, you know. Then we came back, you know, in 2018. But at that time, we continue moving. Then later on in 2019, you know, I was going for the um, vice presidency, which, I, which was a landslide victory because most people know what I can do, you know, by in terms of volunteering, advocacy group, networks, you know. Mm -hmm. And we went, we, luckily for us, we had a, 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 a international meeting where every uh, medical students worldwide will meet in Rwanda and in Makeni, Unima. We are invited by the public health department. Mm -hmm. You know, I went there for the members. Because I didn't focus for this academic year was capacity building. Mm -hmm. Are we going, going to capacitate medical students? Mm -hmm. How to like, the people, you know, mm -hmm. most of the during the privilege and so on. Mm -hmm. And luckily for us, the first year when we went, uh, when they went to um, Malawi uh -huh. for the African Union, which we won, Sierra Leone won, and it should be, maybe hopefully we should be doing it in December, uh -huh. regional meeting, but as we all know, the COVID-19, mm -hmm. we don't know when it's going to end, so mm -hmm. which but we're still working despite mm -hmm. the situation. Well, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when we went to to um, to um, Rwanda in mm -hmm. March, mm -hmm. we were there. There were so many people, different countries. You know, although at that time China they had the uh, the outbreak in China and Italy, so they had to cancel their their um, delegation. So we were there, and this time around, I was the vice president by then. So I had to attend different meetings, capacity building meetings, mm -hmm. and NMO uh, management session because mm -hmm. we, Sierra Leone, we do lack the management skills mm -hmm. in so many places, you know. So then I attended that meeting. Then they heard um, tree planting stuff. Very the 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 Rwandese they, they, they took us to the within Kigali, and we mm -hmm. saw how tree planting was ongoing. How the people were cooperating, you know, with it, with it. We are here again when we came. Uh -huh. Then we said to, a, to ourselves, our mandate as medical students uh -huh. um, to combat this COVID nineteen was to become fully active, you know, uh -huh. and be part of the team, you know. Yeah. So yeah. What we had to do was we um, we issued yeah. out a, a policy statement, you know, uh -huh. medical students, you know, and how they could be um, ambassadors in their communities and, uh, for, and for their safety, for them to have a good learning environment because by that time, schools were not shut down, you know, schools were not shut down. So we had our first, then later on, we, we issued out a press release, you know, Later on, we issued out a, a press release. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello? Yes. Yeah, we can hear you. We we'll hear you. Yeah, we can hear okay. you. Okay. Then, then secondly, we had release. we had mm -hmm. to issue out a a press release. You know, right in, in that press release, in that press release, um, we had to thank um the government through the Ministry of Health mm -hmm. for their role in handling the 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 COVID, okay. you know, and later on what we had was massive media sensitization on COVID-19 and we participated in a communication and social mobilization pillar meeting with the Ministry of Health and other health related organizations in Sierra Leone, mm -hmm. where we, we had so many different organizations, uh, WHO, UN, Gold, Sierra Leone and so many, yeah, we we're there, we made so many contributions, you know. Okay. And Give them so many proposals. Then, luckily, we participated uh, on rural sensitization with the Ministry of Health under the Emergency and Operations Center. But at that time, we had no, we registered no case at that time. 
But at that time, we had um, cases within neighboring countries, you know, um, Guinea and Liberia. Yes. So at that time, I went, I was part of that team, and I went to Karina District, where I went to Kamalo, Kamakwe, and, you know. But there were so many issues at that time, mm -hmm. you know. When I went there, then I understood that there are over 100 border crossing points, you know, at that time. Only few were manned by, 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 by the army, you know. Mm -hmm. So it was something I had to take note of, and then I came back to, um, to Freetown, sorry. Then we organized online training sessions for all medical students to build up their knowledge about the COVID-19. Because I told you earlier that we should act as um, ambassadors in our communities, you know. Yeah. Yeah. We organize an online training session also on medical ethics oh. for all medical students in relation to the present global pandemic. Because you all know there was a point in time when we had our first case, they had to share the uh, the photo of the the first case of the person, you know, and mm -hmm. it was it was the wrong thing at that time because stigmatization and all, you know. Mm -hmm. Then we packed Instead on social media, social media sensitization in our social media handles and WhatsApp, you mm -hmm. know, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, mm -hmm. and so many. You know? Then we facilitated. Well, this was done this week. We facilitated for 14 days of free lecture premium access for medical students members. You know, members are making use of this opportunity now, as they study, uh, as they stay and study at home. Mm -hmm. We can do in the future, future activities as an association, we realize that a large number of our population are not acquainted or do not have the facility to watch COVID-19 sensitization on TV or radio. So as a result, we plan on organizing a community-based sensitization on the privileged communities within the within Freetown. Uh -huh. as our present confirmed case 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 falls within this region. You know, yeah. we have about fifty percent of the cases now. Uh -huh. While our challenge you know, our students. Mm -hmm. And as an association, we are financially challenged. Oh, we are continuing the fight over COVID nineteen. We right. barely get calls for now. You know, for the above strides, we had funded ourselves this far. You know, mm -hmm. if opportunity, we will do more than expected, as we already have the expertise and one power to help combat COVID nineteen. Okay, but we're trying our best and want to reach out to slum areas. You know, to bus stop. You know, yeah, so we can. And Mohammed, just like you just said, um, we appreciate all the work that you guys have been doing because especially to be a part of the um, med team, that takes a lot. Number one, we want to commend you for being on the forefront. We want to commend you for, you know, um, sensitizing the people. And not only that, but your entire journey has just been, you know, really yeah. fruitful. And we just thank you. We appreciate you for everything you've been doing for the country. Tips out to you, man. No, not get it. Tips out. You know, we're in nursing, but tips out to those that got to be in school for 10 years, man. Hats off to you. We appreciate you. We love you. We are sending you big support, man. <laughs> Keep at it. Because when I see you, yeah. baby, I need to help the people and continue yeah. for heal we the right way. So thank you for what you did do, man. <laughs> Please. Uh, you sure call him Troy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Troy. Well, definitely, man. Well, I mean, I'm not as in depth as as our brother Muhammad, man. I appreciate him on the front lines. You know, what I'm saying he got a long history of of him, you know, going through this process and eventually ending up with the COVID yeah. sensitization. But, um, man, I I just I think that I've been I've been my my focus is um, hitting hitting the population from a few different angles. Mm -hmm. um, one from an inspirational uh, point on on letting people know and kind of tapping into what Marjo said earlier, uh, letting them know that the unconventional route is now the conventional route. Mm. You know, so Amen. We have dancers, creatives, hairstylists, things of that sort. Uh, for example, I was in Salon with uh, with Marjo during the holidays, but uh, we did it. We did it totally different. You know, we we're out there getting the bag up. You know, I'm talking to her managers and things of that sort. So. And, and it was because, you know, it, it was time to start inspiring the youth and letting them know that 
your creativity can get you a bag and have fun at the same time. Yeah. Uh, why does your career? Why can't your career be fun? You know. So, uh, Majo's out there. She's dancing at the biggest festivals, things of that sort. I'm texting her management. You know, we're going back and forth and things of that sort. So she's out there having a great holiday, and she's out there getting a bag as well too. That should be the new norm. Saloma, we like party. There's mm-hmm. even during COVID, I still see party and yapping all over the United States and even inside tone. So why not, you know, why not convert that energy and, and do what you love doing, have fun partying, but at the same time, bring it back in. So uh, I aim to brand myself accordingly in order to inspire that aspect. Um, two, just inspiring um, the youth to um, dream as wild as possible. Mm. Um, everything, everything that I'm doing now is just a wild dream. I worked with Troy... And we worked together in about 2011 when both of us were just getting off the ground. And what we're doing now was a total dream back then. Mm -hmm. But there was an operational plan. There was a plan. There was a process. And the thing was, we just stayed focused through it. And now we're here where we're at today and can be that voice of reason that's saying, hey, dreaming big can actually come true. Look at this. You know, and it's not only from a financial perspective. Um, dreaming big and achieving big things is, um, you know, living out your wildest dream, even if it's you being able to, you know, um, spark the mind, like, like Marshall says, spark the mind that becomes the, the next great Afrobeat artist, the next great Afrobeat dancer, things of that sort, you know, so um, that's, that's the second perspective. Um, third um, is from the financial uh, literacy perspective um, and, and I need to do it via my, via my businesses. So um, letting them know that you know, ownership is truly key. Um, we're, we're automatically, you know, we're, we're probably one of the, I mean, Africa alone, you know, it's a hustle and bustle. There is no, you can't depend on a strict nine to five. And if it is a nine to five, you're not honorable or magistrate. So mm-hmm. outside of government, how can, you, how can you create wealth? And how can you move your money the right way, even in the private sector? Even if not, you know, uh, poppy to sell not seats, why not scale it? Why not find two of you, two, three of you, the man in the area, get in pop, then you guys lock down a certain area, call the money back, go make more, go back to you know, So that just that streamlined process, I aim to, you know, aim to teach the youth back home. Uh, and even here, uh, actually my focus is here more because um, for, you know, we just happen to look at, you know, the one that we did West End, we did America or did Europe, we actually look at them, you know, as a, as, a, as, a, as a sign of motivation. So if I educate the ones here, I put them in position here, then the ones back home automatically become a fan and they follow that every route. They follow that very route. So mm-hmm. uh, that, that's how I plan on using my platforms. Uh, my two biggest platforms are my clothing brand and Subway brand. Um, I plan on using Subway. Um, they might see this and don't know for a fact I'm in this to use them in order to empower my people back home. Um, why not? Why not franchise? Um, why not? Fran- why all these great chefs and and people who get to not own and all that stuff? Why not franchise and get it spread all over the country? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, so, so uh, again, but it's a model that needs to be. Model that needs to be- up and you have someone spark that model and then you have an expansion plan with that so it's a it's a deep process but that's that's my goal um that's what i've been doing you know trying to cultivate um back home and, and really really just spark those minds and really just be a, a a face of inspiration letting them know that hey yeah i born yeah but a lot of my work is in salon um um Yes, I'm a Subway franchisee, but I started off as a nurse, you know. Right. Um, yes, you know, so it, it's just like, yeah, you know, and that goes back to what you guys are saying, you know, it's not just about being a nurse, a doctor, a lawyer, or an accountant. You know, I started off as a nurse, and then I started selling cars. Best believe my family kind of disowned me for a certain perspective. <laughs> and, you know, the perspective changed. Hey, Troy, I know we probably dealt with that. You probably dealt with that as well, too. Yeah. Um, you know, family being from an uh, immigrant family from Salon and not so free tonal upline Lonsar, Kaya, and all nurses, we know, you know, we yeah. can't. You know, them. They, they persuaded me, I got into nursing, it wasn't a passion. So, Papi, you left nursing for go sell them. Yeah. Um, 
food menu, this, that. I caught a lot of flack family, they saw me, but I just kept pushing, I kept forging my path. And now this is the path that all my little cousins want to take. Mm -hmm. Oh, puppy, can I come work at your subways? Oh, puppy, can I do this and that bar? So they come to me as that inspiration, uh, you know, as, as being inspired by me and want to take that route. What can my aunties and uncles say? They can't, they, you know, you can't vex now. No. So now if the one kind of right now, the right way, you know? <laughs> and even with Ziggy, man, with the music, um, that's big. I mean, again, Salon Ulek Party, but we don't have solo production. We're going to yeah. and then get salty and then get salty sets, but the sound no did it. No, then we walk together and just snap all. Yeah, Ralph, man, first of all, I just want to number one, Ralph. What you did, I do is so important. Yeah, because you did teach financial literacy. We always do that. We always do that. We always do that. We need that. Oh, <laughs> say this small red chain with this so I need a you know what I mean? Look, we will all be Instagramming and DMing you and hello. Hey, DM me right now, check your inbox. Check, check your mail, check your mail. We'll do. No, but yeah, and, and even that it's a process, you know. I'm I'm getting everything together little by little. Um, so that I can push it out. I, it'd be a disservice to aim to educate, but I don't do it the right way. Mm. You know, so, and it's not a streamlined process. I can't see it, but next week, my schedule flow up, so now we're doing next mm -hmm. week. So I'm just aiming to structure things up and then push it out the right way and then, you know, I get things going. So, and collaboration is the last key. My bad, mm -hmm. that was one last key. Mm -hmm. um, I've worked with pretty much everyone on this call right now, one aspect or another, you know, so collaboration is key. If we are the face of Salon Youth, um, if we are, if we do have a voice that has power, now imagine us working together and exchanging resources. You know that's definitely going to inspire people back home to do the same. So why mm -hmm. can't I admire do the hair on 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 um, on Majo's new dance set, and then Reiki is a featured dancer on there. Troy does the costume and he does the the. Oh, the, that's smart. So, you no, know, why not do that and then create grand productions and then emulate it back home? So mm -hmm. that's another key as well to collaboration. Mm -hmm. Thank you, man. And you just hit you hit every point. First of all, you killed three boys there with five stones. Yeah. <laughs> I don't kill in it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I say I don't kill in it. Five stones, honestly, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's so on point. Yeah, yeah, oh my gosh. And just like Troy always says, it's like it's a team effort. Yeah. Us sitting here in this conference, even us for the sit down and talk about we country is a team effort. But make we all go with it and say unity, freedom, and justice. That's mm -hmm. what our anthem stands for. That is who we are. And so the fact that you just you just can you can you can you show pastor that I didn't know. Yeah. Before. <laughs> so thank you yeah. we appreciate that yes. and um just the, the final question you guys can well it's two questions actually and you can just merge it in one how do you think in your field we can push your Leon forward and how can we support you because everybody has different needs my need of support is totally different from Rocky or Ralph's need of support or Marjo's need of support so I know I make we can't talk 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 beaucoup we know see how for supports one another. Like what Ralph just said. So why can't Rocky, you know, be in in, in um uh, you know, just the entire mix up. Why can't we all support each other to do something greater? So now asking us individually, how can we support each other and what is the way that you think, in your opinion or in your vision, how we can push Shirley on forward? Start with uh, Muhammad, actually. Sir, in your words, how can we move Sierra Leone forward and how we go able for support to you, Mibora? All right. Firstly, as a med student, my God in power, guess, will be a medical doctor. Amen. 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 We will support you, bro. I'm there for you. Yes, yes. I'm there for you. Got it. <laughs> for you. Firstly, firstly, we forget sorry ads for we said first, you know. I started going and meet people and network with it. I want to save lives and not really in the urban. I want to reach out nationwide to more the underprivileged, the needy, and you know. So that's it for now. Wow. But I think so, with all that, I'm ready for 
collaborate or deal with other people in their own little field. Because me and Apos really enjoy you, not to be quiet in med school. I go club, I listen to music and everything. And when I go club, I go out to the youth man there, and I bitch like people. I deal with them, talk to them, and say blah, blah, blah. So that's when it's hard to kind of mute yourself if I like hype or so, then they come with me home safe or waiting. So me all across Freetown or Sierra Leone, I don't get problem with any Juman or Larry Boy. Bless up. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah, oh, wow. So cool, Mohammed. We thank you, first of all. We appreciate you. And so the question is, how do we support you now? What do you want make we do for support you? That's not the million dollar question, I think, you know. <laughs> but I think just partner with people and people like we're really ready for come on board for like reach out to the needy just like I say. Mm -hmm. Medical school for now they give me tough time. Although yeah, right now the the COVID don't make well on them, but with the med school you kind of very very busy, you know. Okay. But I'm not mind for multitask. So okay. I'm not mind for collab with anybody ready for come Mohammed in way, you know, because I'm a friendly person as you know Paris. Yeah. What you are still giving ah? Mm. You are a soldier for Sierra Leone. You are a med student for Sierra Leone. You are a student <laughs> for Sierra Leone. Yeah. Find out. Oh yeah, I love that. Thank you. I really Thank appreciate you. You, Mohammed. I really, really appreciate you. Okay, Thank so you. the next person we're going to go Thank to real quick is Marjo. Mm -hmm. How can we support you? And how do you feel, say, in your field, or what is your vision that is going to better Sierra Leone? Um, my vision to better Sierra Leone is, um, kind of like what I said earlier. Um, so many different things, but the main thing is like changing the mind of the youth and letting them know there is hope. Like imagine not having nothing to eat. How are you going to pay to go to college? How are you going to pay to go to school? But there are people, there are future like Rihanna, Jay-Z's, Beyonce, Kanye West in Sierra Leone. How will you know if you don't have that opportunity? Like I said, doing something is all about being exposed to it. So they are not exposed to, oh, are they able to dance again money? But now you don't get some side where you can able to go. Let's say, um, Kokorobics. Are they able to come to Kokorobics <laughs> Entertainment? Are they get out? Are they fine? Are they You know how much they will pay to see entertainment? Show day. Are they get out? Are they going go? Like, I just want to create that space where people can get paid from their talent. Young, talented people can show the world that, yes, I'm making it with what God blessed me with, my talent. You don't have to, not saying that school is not good. Don't get me wrong. When also all man can't have this wall for I'm going to school. school. Mm -hmm. yeah, not everybody. You know, you, they get some full of money in a salon. They get money past end on at home. Nah. I tell yes. you. Oh. <laughs> I tell you. They get money past on at home. Uh -huh. They are living the life. You see mm -hmm. how they compare with the host in America. So it's like, you, you have to learn how to have a business mindset. You have to learn how to have an open mind to do different things. And me, I don't only dance. I direct. I have creative ideas. Mm -hmm. I do so many different things. But the main thing that I use, even with my dancing, I use my classes sometimes to um, host events. For example, I work with um, this organization, um, Breast Cancer, Sierra Leone Breast Cancer Organization. When I do classes, I donate sometimes to them. I have, um, when the mudslide happened, I did a class um, donating money and clothes to the mudslide. And through my talent, I was able to raise funds. So you see how your talent can help you do different things? Mm -hmm. I just want Sierra Leoneans to be able to express themselves through their talent and be able to benefit from it without them being looking down upon. So that's how I feel like um, me, myself, the little that I can do. And also another thing, I promote health and wellness through Coke Robics Workshop, which is another part of my company. And I promote exercise because exercise is something that the reunions also don't talk about. Yes. Anything, when, when, and I know that the reunions like enjoyment. So I combined it. So I said, okay, this, when I go dance, when I burn calories and have fun, and you won't even know you're exercising. Yeah. So now I have, a, I have a show in Sierra Leone on AYV TV, which is one of the biggest um, TV stations in Sierra Leone. And it's an exercise show. And I believe this is one of the first exercise shows in Sierra Leone. I've never heard of it. I've never seen it. I don't want to say, but I think so far it's been the first exercise show program in Sierra Leone. Wow. And 
we are, it's three days a week. And what I do, I teach people to exercise and I teach people to dance. And I give them health tips and, you know, talk about prevention for COVID-19 and other things like that. So I promote health and wellness through dance. So you see, through dance, I'm able to do so many different things. There's so many cables. So I want other people, young girls out there who they just sit on that beach and they chill. Girl, do you know how to dance? You know how to move? Come work for Coco Robbins. Come be a, a dance teacher. Yeah. Come do something. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you, yeah. know, if, you're, if you know how to, you, you, you get patient for study picking. The young kids that want to be in Coco Robbins, come help them learn how to do AYB, AYC, XYZ. Come and teach them. You know, I just want to bring everybody together and know that, you know, entertainment is something. You can be somebody from entertainment. And if you're around the right people, you'll be able to grow from it. So that's my goal. And the way I feel like people can support me and help me is by sharing my stuff, um, sharing my content. It's all about exposure. Yeah. If somebody don't see you, they won't know you. Mm -hmm. So a simple share, a simple comment, it goes a long way. Let's try to break, keep the comments among ourselves because I know with social media, the more you, when you comment, somebody who's your follower, they see that post. So yeah. if you say like, oh, you go comment by Jay-Z and Beyonce, there are other people there, or then Nigeria or Ghanaian, not saying that it's wrong, but let's support ourselves first. Let's bring that, let's bring the audience to ourselves. You know, let's have the complex over ourselves. No, not complex other people. No, complex listen because there's so many talented, talented people on this, you know, um, meeting. And I believe say if we showcase ourselves to the world, people, there's somebody who needs every single one of us on here. But mm -hmm. maybe your helper will not see you. Maybe your helper is from one of these people. Maybe Paris's helper is on my side. Maybe yeah. Troy's helper is on Reiki's side. Right. Maybe Ralph's helper is on Mohammed's side. You mm -hmm. never know. So it just take one share, one comment. Two, maybe two shares, maybe three. But maybe we would mm -hmm. continue for support yourself. So sharing, if I have an event, if you're able to attend, fine. If you're able to donate, fine. But I think exposure is the biggest thing here. When you're exposed, people see you, and from there, it just goes. So that's that would be the help that I would need. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Just no thank you. That was beautifully said. Thank you. Yes. Exactly what you did. That's creating jobs for the people make we do something and not have an idle mind because everybody's talented in their own different way it might not be in the way that you want it to be but then get it everybody's there's something that everybody's good at even take it on to that picking waiting our streets where they make a wedding a motocar from then kande that's how you little little by little Kevin. look at him now hey little little. Yeah. No, there was actually one boy that i know of i'm sorry not to sidetrack but there was a boy that i know about what is his name he was a dj it is not to dj it is dj focus yeah DJ, thank you that's, that's his name is kevin yeah thank that is all it didn't take yeah. radio there it didn't take then a fa 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 pa young engineer it put mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. it didn't put on together it didn't mix you know like African people, no matter what, I'm not say African people, Sierra Leonean people, no matter how we find ourselves a struggle, we always they put beauty panel. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. always. And right. we're so intelligent. We're so talented. Even mm -hmm. in the Afro thing that what they do, take to the cook, take to the culture, take to the food, take to the dancing, take to the education, the book that we'll get. We're yeah. so talented. And I just want us to really put that on the forefront. And that's why I appreciate this entire thing. Um, before I start getting, you know, sidetracked or whatever, let me get into this. Admire. Miss Admire. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, girl. How are you doing? You just chilling like a villain. I'm good. I'm enjoying y'all conversations. <laughs> okay. You know how Soaking everything in, in, you know. Okay, great. Yeah. We want to know how we could support you and what in your field are you doing or what is your vision for Sierra Leone? Well, my vision is pretty much to put Sterling on the map. No matter what I do, it's not here at a duo. I just want to let it be known. I'm from Sierra Leone. I'm at Maya and I'm from Sierra Leone. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just need to let people know that. Like, people have to know. Where are you from? I'm from Sierra Leone. Like, we, like period. But, like, um, you guys, I feel like all of us on here, we need to pray for each other because prayer is powerful and um, mm -hmm. what we're doing is not easy at all, especially running so many pages and like Majo and Raki and Ralph and Troy and you, everyone, it's like, it's not easy at all. Like it's, it's really not. So we definitely need to pray for each other stand in the gap for each other um we need to support each other by collaborating i think that 
that would be a really good idea. Like what Ralph was saying, like I do here for like Raki or Majo, their event. And then like, you know, we let like DJ Umu come in and be the DJ for an event. Let's say I throw an event for Sterling. It's killing it where we're networking. Troy is the um, creative director. Like, you know, like we have performances by Majo and Raki. Like it's gonna, like we need to definitely be collaborating for sure and supporting each other by going to each other's events um promoting each other's events like you know so um i haven't interviewed half of you guys yet i can't wait because i want to interview all of you Majo, i'm gonna reach out to you ralph i'm waiting okay. for you to text me one day you're available <laughs> and roy i'm gonna interview i mean troy i'm gonna hey you want to change what i need <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm gonna interview Troy today, so I'm excited. I want to definitely interview all of you guys, and if you guys want me to post anything, um, I'll post it. Please follow Sir Leonian's Killing It. Whenever you guys want to come on and talk about anything, you guys are free to do so. We can all collaborate like that. And also, another thing I do is I charge for promotion for others, not us that are in this group, but like others as into where the proceeds go back to Sierra Leone. So um, that's another thing. But yeah, definitely follow and let's stay connected. I know and I'm caught the word, Admire. Hey, yeah. if you want charge me for yourself, you get right now. You walk now. Walk yeah. they walk. Yeah. You get you right for right. charge for your services. Not, right. I don't want, I know I'm for caught I don't want everybody to think that everything you have to do is you get for doing for other people sometimes mm. you get for think but you said because if you don't help yourself i will help other people then yeah yeah so and charge me that's guitar. called promotion you're not promoter charge me charge you have a page of what, <laughs> almost thirty thousand followers and it's audience specific you have yes to charge yeah. charge me charge me i help you charge let's go <laughs> <laughs> If the money circulating, there's no there's no fear in charging. So if I pay admire for something and admire buys a hat for me, and then I buy a video from Marjo yeah. and Marjo. It's not ten dollars. It's not twenty dollars. Money, so money is meant to circulate. Money is meant to circulate. You will charge. Right. Right. If you want pull ten percent, then you give you give go ahead, but God say help yourself first. It don't matter. Oh my gosh. Marjo, I'm on the ninety charge. But we, we do understand. We understand that you're trying to have priority with us. But everybody here agrees. Money circulates. If you have to charge, you charge. That goes for everybody on this call. Yes. Because think money is greedy, and we have bills to pay. I have tra I have charged for it. Troy is my cousin. We have this right. bloodline. It don't matter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just feel you, but the only thing that's not gonna be the only thing that's gonna be free is the live sessions. That one, I definitely okay. want to come in and talk with you guys. So yeah, that's, that's fine. That's yeah, fine. that's perfectly I would love fine. Love for you all to come on board because they love it. They love connecting with you guys, the followers. They enjoyed yesterday me and Raki's um show. It was lit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for being honest and authentic, and I love it. <laughs> thank you um, thank you so much and Maya we appreciate all that you do man thank you for continuously promoting Sierra Leone in a positive light and uplifting the culture because that's what you are showcasing the culture mm -hmm. and so you know the gram is one of the biggest places that we go every day and because of you we get to see the positive things that's happening around us so we appreciate you this and we support you all the way and we're going to continue to push and follow and just support your business however we can, you know? So thank you, and I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. No problem, sis. Next, we're going to go to Queen Rocky. Yes. Queen Rocky! <laughs> <laughs> wow. How can we support you? And what is your vision for Sierra Leone? So I yeah. have many visions. Like I said, I wear many hats. So everything that I do has to be... Um, translated into those different areas so for me um one of my biggest things is my advocacy for um, autism so i know they have autism programs in sierra leone but if i did talk true mm -hmm. it, it's not it's not accurate right mm -hmm. um some of the procedures and the things and the way that they're moving about with their organization there's no data and one thing about um, 
apply behavioral analysis, anything, you need to have supporting data. You need to have evidence that, okay, yeah, this is what we're doing. How are the kids improving? How are the adults improving? Behavior can even be done, like a behavioral analysis can even be done on me. Mm -hmm. So it's not just, oh, for kids with, or, or adults with special needs. It can be me. If I have an emotional uh, um, stress or anything of the sort, if someone wants to know why I behave the way that I do, there has to be follow-up data. So for me, one of the biggest, one aspect of my ABA um, work that I do want to do is open my own center alongside with my brother-in-law who will be graduating in May with his BCB. Ooh. So I'm yeah. super proud of him um, on that aspect. We want to open our own company in um, Sierra Leone and start our own agency there that actually co collects data, yes. actually puts this information on the forefront to people, not just taking the information and saying, oh, we're putting the kids, we're having the kids sit, do this, do that. Like there's certain ways that you have to go about when you're doing your uh, assessment, because again, as I mean, some people don't know, but autism is a, a social communication between um, receptive and um, expressive language. Certain people have an issue with the re uh, receptive. Certain people have an issue with the um, expressive. Regardless of what it is, the point and the goal of autism is to have a, um, children, adults that are functional. Mm -hmm. It's not saying that they have to behave the way that I behave. They just need to be able to function and do things on their own. That for me is one thing for with the ABA stuff. Um, with me as a dancer, one thing that I, I, I agree with with Marjo is that we don't have anywhere in Salon where the youths or uh, um, people that have that creative outlet to actually use it. So a lot, one of the things, like Marjo said, is having that forefront, that building, that that uh, um, that center for the kids, for families, because again everyone even in your old age as 50 you can pick up dance it doesn't matter mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's a universal language it's mm -hmm. not just oh one area as, as far as like with my agency you know Mar marjo touches more on the wealth and uh, um and the health aspect of it whereas in for me and my company the goal for us is just the training having that foundation how do you go from uh, um not only just dancing and performing but you in order for you to get to that stage you have to start training so for me that training aspect is what one thing that i do focus on which is very important to me because you can't go on stage and just do any any kind of way expect pay you have to give a people get, give the people a show so what are they looking for what what are the certain departments dance is not just one area there's different genres different countries have their different styles of dance mm -hmm. so for me, that educational piece, as well as a training piece is important to me. You know, me and my sister are always constantly chit-chatting about, you know, how we're going to merge our two hats that are very similar uh, um, into, into the area and into the out front of others. Mm -hmm. um, the third thing for me is obviously for me opening a very lucrative um, hospital in Sierra Leone. Um, before I even became a, a, a psychologist, well, before I, I majored in psychology, I actually, growing up, wanted to be an OBGYN. And all my life, I just, I, I knew that that's what I wanted to do. But um, after interning with um, my OBGYN, I realized that, you know, the work schedule and what I wanted to do, everything that I'm doing is not going to work. Mm -hmm. So I switched, ma I switched major for that reason because of the time efficiency. But my heart is always in that medical field. So for me, having that hospital that, you know, that does have the equipment to fight off Ebola, fight off uh, um, uh, coronavirus and any other thing that is to come up, because as we all know, the health, the health area itself is not efficient. It doesn't have everything that it's supposed to. And I'm so happy that Muhammad is here because, you know, honey, <laughs> somebody got to be there, you know. I just, I just want to give back in so many ways to my country that I care about, you know. And lastly, um, lastly for me, like I said, I do, I do have a, a interest in doing here. So having that salon, you know, admire having that salon and salon is very important because, you know, when I went, when I go to salon, I see people outside. They're braiding here. They're doing. Mm -hmm. this. If all of them can just come into one place. They had these people know, okay, this this someone they are so this day and that, then get one in put slow, then get one in tongue, then get one up up line. 
it doesn't matter, you know, just having that area and also not even just, not even just putting everything in free time because free time right now is congested. I want to put things in areas where people are not going to think of or where people don't normally go to and give those areas opportunity to actually develop, to actually bring in income and, you know, improve as a whole. So for me, those four areas are what I want to do future wise as far as what my goals are for my country, because those are the four things that really matter the most to me that I'm very passionate about that I love. And I see that we can ha actually improve, bring like we're trying to get them to watch their clothes, bring, bringing, um, bringing income, bringing actual uh, uh, tourism mm -hmm. to the country. <clears throat> but that's how the country actually gains money mm -hmm. is having tourism and making sure like, with what uh, um, Ralph, or Ralph was saying, having ownership. Because mm -hmm. right now, a lot of stuff in Salon is owned by either the Lebanese or the Chinese, the this and the that. No, we need to have our own. Right. Our people need to own our own stuff. Right. So that's how I want to do it with those four things. Um, how to support those things. Obviously, for me, as, um, as an ABA therapist, just learning, you know, learning your facts about what it means with behavior. Because again, behavior is universal. Everyone has a behavior. Mm -hmm. Just learning the importance and, you know, differentiating. Okay, just because a child has autism doesn't mean that they're stupid. Doesn't mean that they, they don't understand what you're saying. Even those that are nonverbal, because there are verbal and nonverbal, even those that are nonverbal, they still understand. They just don't understand the way that you and I do. Mm -hmm. Having an open mind to any child with special needs, period, because mm -hmm. that whole disability realm is just shunned upon in Salon. And I don't, I, it breaks my heart, to be very honest. Mm -hmm. um, it breaks my heart in that, in that arena that people just cast down disability like it's the worst thing in the world. Mm -hmm. Some of the most brightest people, some of the people that actually are very much my motivators have disability. Mm -hmm. So it, it doesn't limit you. In fact, it, it, it makes you greater. Because you have less than I do and you can push way beyond what I can. You're unstoppable, man. And that's what we should be promoting out there. Um, as far as my dance, like Marjo said, actually pushing forward. You know, for a long while, big shout outs to my sis Marjo. But it's it's more than just Marjo that's out here. It's more than just me that's out here. Me and her are not the only dancers that are Sierra Leoneans. How do we showcase that, okay, yeah, there are more dancers here. There are more... Um, creatives that are willing to collaborate and work together. Me and Marjo have done pieces together. Um, me and my cousin Rugi, who's also a dancer, has done pieces. We even, we just did the, the um, that Lapa challenge where Marjo orchestrated everything mm -hmm. to showcase that, okay, yeah, there, there's, there's still a lot more out here. So that exposure, like what she's saying is very important, but also with what she said, not undervaluing our art. Because there's multiple times when we've gone into the arena with businesses as far as with Sierra Leonean entertainment, just African entertainment, period. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, why can't you just charge $20? What is the $20? I you have to charge my back. I have to, I, have, <laughs> I have to book rehearsal space. I have to train. I have to choreograph. That's a lot of work. That is a lot of work. So don't undervalue me. Don't tell me, oh, I'm, my price is too high. If you can't afford it, that's not they tried it and tried you it. Don't to, you don't need to. You don't need to have me that too. line of business if that's the case. I so for me, uh, no, 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 no. here. Uh huh. So for me, that line of business, as far as respecting my craft and respecting what I'm putting on the forefront to you, you wouldn't come to me if you didn't think I was capable of doing my job. Period. Mm -hmm. So obviously, you saw, you recognized, you knew what you wanted, you knew I could supply it. Cool. Let's make it happen. As far as the medical side, Mohammed, I really do want us to really connect and talk about a lot of stuff because that's been one of the biggest things for me. Just opening the hospital. I don't want to run it. I just want to give the funds to actually do it and finding someone that actually has that passion for it as far as running the business, as far as being that frontliner for the hospital is something that I was looking for. I'm blessed to have the ability, the fin financial ability to actually do this. So, okay, now who, who's going to put that suit on? Who's going to go in there and actually do the work every day is one big aspect of w what was always like the, the downfall of this whole plan of opening the, the hospital. Um, as far as the hair salons, recruitment, you know, 
having and Maya train a lot of people because again, my key thing is foundation, having that training and all these fields that I'm doing and all these things that I want to do, having that foundation, having people train to do it because again, there's, there's so, we learn every day, every single day. So for me, that support, just following through with what I'm doing on my page, sharing my page with people and telling mm-hmm. them, Hey, this girl, she's the real deal, you know, just putting it out there. And again, like with what Ralph said, us collaborating, I think is one of the best ways that we can actually promote ourselves because I've done sets with um, Sierra Leoneans. I've danced and uh, performed with a lot of great artists as well as Sierra Leonean artists, you know, but at the same time, I wasn't treated the way that I wanted to be treated. If I have my, if I have my own family to do my own work and we can keep it in-house, we will all make it. We will all be rich. We will all have the the financial stability to actually pursue other realms and other things that we want to do. So for me, yes, that collaboration piece is definitely a number one thing. If I can pay you instead of paying uh, 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 Olufemi, why not? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Olufemi. If I can pay Ralph instead of Olufemi, why not? Like, why it's not? Real. No, you're right. In the side, right. Because at the end of the day, if I say, oh, I want to give to this charity and someone is of a different nationality, they're going to be like, oh, what about my country? No, forget your right. country. It's about Salon right now. That's what I'm talking about. Right. So for me, that collaboration, that support, yeah, I'm sorry. I have a lot <laughs> in this small, big head of mine. <laughs> but yeah, support and, support and collaboration for me. Okay. Okay, that's great. We appreciate you so much, Rocky. First of all, the vision is big. The vision is bright. The it's vision is big. The vision is dear, 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 doing all kinds of good things, man. And we appreciate you because you're solving a problem. And one, as I have a family member that has autism, and I know how it feels, especially, you know, growing up with him and seeing him go through all those different changes. You know, Salon, we get this mentality to say, eh, it don't kiss. That's the... I I hate that. That's the the, the stigmatism that's placed on it. It kiss. Eh, get kiss so and so. You mute yourself, old darling. You muted yourself, yeah. You mute yourself, yourself. old Jazz. Jazz, Jazz, you muted yourself. yourself. Hello? Yeah, we did. First three seconds. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay. um, (laughs) It's just wonderful to to have someone who actually cares. Because one of the main problems was, we're like, okay, how is he going to get on a flight vacation? He's American, first of my little brother, personally. He's like, he's never traveled, you know, ever in his life to go to Sierra Leone. You know, if you know or deal with anybody with autism or disability, you know that it's a challenge for them every day. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, how is he even going to get on the flight? And we don't have to put him on medication. How is he going to react when he gets to Sierra Leone? And if you know about autism or even aware about any disability, Mm -hmm. whenever your environment changes, your whole mind changes. So it's like, hold up, where am I? Yeah, his behavior changes. So it's so wonderful to me how I see that you're trying to create a proper agency that can focus on solving that problem. Because not to anyone, then boku, we boku a lot. And even in any different way, and a disability, is a, it's something that's hindering you, but it doesn't stop you. So that's the difference. It's your ability. But it, 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 you know, that's where your magic happens and where it comes from. Because I didn't tell you, but what is they speak Spanish, they speak all kind of language yeah. by me. I don't see that they watch no more. Yeah, Mark Zuckerberg actually has autism as well. So Mark Zuckerberg, um, owner of Facebook, has autism. And so the fact that you can even touch base on that, I appreciate what you're doing. And God bless you, sis. And we're all here to support your journey. And we're here to support you full on. Thank you. Um, we're going to let Hindalo go. I know we're going to make it real short and wrap it real quick. Um, Hindalo is going to go and say what he has to say. Oh, Hindalo. Yeah. Hi, how are you? We just have two questions to ask you. Going forward in your field, what is your vision for Sierra Leone and how can we support you? In the aspect of um, youth empowerment. Yes. In the aspect of Employment for you. Yes. It's very much important. And I'm someone, I'm very much passionate when it comes to youth issues. It comes to development. I want to see a prosperous family filled with young life. Mm-hmm. 
captivate your mind, people that can actually make a difference. It's it's not possible for it's not possible for someone to say because actually definitely possible. Some of the appreciate first of all the work that you're doing with the community and the fact that you yeah. are on the ground the fact that you are physically working with the uh, with the youth one on one because it's one thing for us to be over here yeah. and do as much as we can from the platform right. but you are out there you're doing the work and so it just makes it makes it, it's really a privilege and we're so appreciative of the work that you're doing continue for do that work day and we're here to support you collaboratively as a team, as Icon, we're here to do this and assist you out. You know, there's never a time that you can reach out to any one of us and you will not, you know, get that support that you need. So we are here to assure support to you and thank you for the work we did do, Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so then next we're going to go to, um, next we're going to go to Ziggy. Ziggy, Come on. how can we support you? And what is your vision for Sierra Leone? So, I've actually just made the video because they enjoyed the uh, until they get a lap dance now. Nah, IG will not see the there. Uh, you are don't enjoy no more self. You see why I want support you? It's too much. I want to go support. You know, the thing with me want to say, um, uh, I really appreciate this time, and if if not, we we as the young people, and they do all the time for salon. I believe they will take us to the next level. And me as a producer, I don't produce for. Huh, it's bad. Don't check. <laughs> well, you know, but I don't produce for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's a comedian. <laughs> so, but the thing where 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 are they are they get? I mean, I possibly I just always did Namion's small corner and um, Paris Gokin saying because I don't produce for them. 
I know they go out. I just did a meal, small shrine. I had a party, I had a dance, I had a little lapa dance inside all in, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but the thing we are just happy about the fact that we all did a different feel. And me and an artist also, they try for sing sometimes then, although I know sound like Osha, but they try, you know. And, uh, <laughs> And um, I guess songs them we own, you know own, own, I can check them, but um, that support part where as within a care be the type for sale. If this person they do it in this person they do we own our own brothers and sisters. Why if we left that person for go pay or that person rename the you know family or something like that. In a sense. <laughs> If 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 you know say I they give you which you want, why you want to pay me? Mm. Yeah. Why you want to take the advantage? You know, you know, you try for take say we all come out the same country. Yes, we come out the same country, but I need you money. You know, the same way how they charge that pussy. I know we charge you much, but still pay me. Yeah. Don't tell me your problem. I they help you out apart from the problem. You know, you but. But then take and say, okay, if you they can't charge me this charge, why not we just go pay this next man? So all down there, all nothing where they put we being small. But I believe say as time goes on, what you all they try for do now, yeah? Me na a sound engineer and me na IT like anything about IT what you need help with, you know, I I deny yeah? and I'm a full time producer too. So if you get any sound thing, like if you do a video you need um, to make a clean audio, I can do them. I do audio forensics and um, uh, whatever way you need from me, I don't know. I mean, I will charge you, but you will be surprised how much I will charge you. I will charge you like a dollar because I'm not just one for make it just be like, yeah, you know, we all come to the same place. I will make use of this. I mean, yeah, I can help you out. I can help you out if it makes sense. But the support we need for Muna, you know, as an artist, you know, I want to be an artist now. I, I just, <laughs> I just want, you know, make all just help each other out. You know, somebody we and not go shows. If you get shows where you think, say, you the host or whatever, um, tell me. I the try for make time, you know, I go. Um, if if I know able, I will make me. You know, if you try for make events, you need artists then for perform. Uh, at least I don't work with most of the artists. They are not just they, they call the name no more, but I don't work with them. So if you need any, you know, artists for perform or whatever you need, you know, you can hit me on WhatsApp, Facebook, you know, Instagram, you know, anyone. <coughs> but yeah, now Danny and I just and the thing. One more thing, what they see now for me to get a huge studio in a salon. Mm -hmm. I won't forget a, uh, uh, I won't forget a studio where as any international artist where they come in salon, they for good they enjoy to the standard. Not to uh, a studio we're gonna post in us. No, this is not a studio where you go, you do go record professionally. So now me plan that anyway. I did try for work on and I done the add on. So anybody will be able to support. It will be good for me and it will be good for the country. Definitely. Yeah, we we like appreciate that. that. We like appreciate that. that, Ziggy. Thank you so much. First of all, um, that's my level of up. Just thank you because you know the vision is is very much there and you cultivating that you trying to create a whole new again that broad mindset that we're thinking about Sierra Leone from an international perspective for tourists and other people that come in how we can you know say hey yeah we do have our own universal studios you know just throwing it out there um we do have our own this that and the third so that is just wonderful Ziggy we appreciate you for that um, next, we're going to go to Troy, Massa. <laughs> what was the question? Or what was the how, question? how do you think, <laughs> what is your vision for Sierra Leone that can push Sierra Leone forward? And how can we support your vision? And how can we support you? Perfect. Thank you. 
I think the first thing is we need to focus on the youth because, um, as you know, Sierra Leone has the largest, we have a big youth population. Mm -hmm. Like, I believe the majority of the population is under 30 years of age. So we need to focus on our youth because they are our future. Mm -hmm. I like how everybody on here has said that. Everybody said thus far that we do need to focus on the younger population, being that of with mental health, being that of with um, dancing, being, you know, creative skills entrepreneurism mm -hmm. from going back home i see that the kids the youth even up to 30 they're just idle because they don't have anything else to do they're not shown what to do they're not showing what they can do with their skills whenever they try to do something they're probably stigma you know they're getting um ostracized from the community because they're like oh you're not going to school why are you going out to the market to sell your you know to sell your market what are you doing we need to break down the idea once again that you have to only go to school. It's not only about school. Education is really experiences. If you're able to go to school and you really want to go to school, go to school. You should get your, you know, the basics, basic, which yeah. is the fundamental thing, how to spell, how to read, how to write, how to you do mathematics and understand numbers. But what we really need to focus on is what, I, what um, Ralph is saying is financial discipline. The list of literacy of finances and how to create something out of the skills that you have is important. Because even if you go to school and not knocking anyone down, because we all have degrees and we have our certificates. If you go to school, become a doctor and you make 500,000 US dollars, that doesn't mean you're going to take home that 500,000 US dollars. That's not money I'm going to. you you have to still pay for that school a lot of these doctors are in debt they're oh. taking home far less than what an entrepreneur who is struggling hustling and bustling every day is making so i want us to break down that that mindset in Leone, you know our Leoneans and just know like hey there's so many ways to make money you can sit at home and work and make money you can go out and sell your market, your skills, and make money. So what I am doing as a creative director is actually helping people brand themselves, helping people figure out how do you use your skills, your God-given skills, your passion, and how can you make money out of it? Now, on the health side of things, we need to focus on how we can look at both, um, how we can make a uh, basically child birthing in our country better, as well as just essentials better. When I'm saying essentials, if we're not in the medical um, area, I'm talking about just basic, uh, basic urgent care things. Why don't we have suture kits? Why don't we have bandages? Why don't we have masks? Why don't we have um, iodine kits? We need to figure out that whole system. The, um, and also for pushing forward besides just the youth, it's really about money. Let me not be real. It's about money. And money is tied also with tourism. So when you're thinking about tourism, that brings us once again back to the youth. What brings tourists to a country? It's, is the country clean? Does a country have development? Who is making some nice buildings? Who is opening up businesses along the beaches? Who, who is, uh, what type of entertainment figures are out of our country? We have so much talent in Sierra Leone and that come out of Sierra Leone but we don't publicize them. We don't even publicize ourselves. So how can we even publicize them? That's what attracts people to your country. Look at Nigeria, look at Ghana, for instance. They have a lot of artists, a lot of um, talent in that country. Why aren't we there? We should be in the same position. We have a lot of artists. We need to start promoting ourselves and promoting our people and promoting our country. We have some of the most beautiful beaches and we have several mm -hmm. islands. So that's where I see ourselves um, going forward. And what I am doing, um, how you guys can support, is really like how I can support you. I'm going to start doing, I am starting to do um, basically everyday free branding, free branding advice live on my IG page. So just follow me um, at 8 p.m. I'll be doing these lives. I typically charge because I've worked with uh, brands that have worked with different celebrities like Yemi Holiday with um, Janet Jackson, things like that. But I'm trying to give this away for free for my people. You just have to sit on the live, ask questions, and let's get it done. Let's make bags together. Mm -hmm. Let's make money. And let's see what we can do. 
So follow me at troy.massa, Massa. And then also, if you want to learn more about our um, nonprofit organization, it's Africa GBI. So Africa GBI on Instagram, all platforms. And that's basically it. Thank you, Troy. We appreciate you so much and all the work that you're doing because it's important that we have a, a foundation that we know that is trustworthy, keyword, trustworthy, that the money will go back into the country, will go back into the youth, will go back into people that actually are in need. And for me, we all go before. And so like what Rocky said, if I didn't go put money in a family pocket, why not go put a Troy in pocket? So that right there, Troy, we appreciate you and your vision is more than clear. And we thank you. That's that's really it. Thank you for everything that you're doing. Thank you. Yeah, man. Kudos, Troy. You killed it with that vibranium jacket, bro. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man, that was legendary. I love that. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'm the last one to go. Um, is anybody else has anything to say? I think it was Ralph, and then it was you, and then... Um, well, I had combined mine. Yeah, oh, he yeah, killed okay. his two birds. You remember five birds with five stones? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He knocked everybody out. I think we all... I think we all answered both questions. Yeah, yeah I think we all answered both questions. Except you, Paris. It'd be you. No. Well, first of all, I want to tell everybody, first of all, thank you for that time. Thank you for this Saturday I will don't spend together community, virtual community. Yeah. Thank you for that because that's more than important to me. Um, number one, I want to give a special thank you to Troy because Troy really assist. I brought the idea to Troy and Troy just made everything happen, literally. Um, each and every one here that we met, um, he's known you guys. And also, too, with Muhammad King, everybody here. With our family, I want to thank you so much. Sierra Leone makes us one. This cause makes us one. Everything makes us uh, makes us one. Um, from my own standard of how to bring change and how to um, and how you guys can support me, this is one of the biggest support that you can ever do. Is like when someone has a vision, people come together and put it together. This is one of the greatest support that you can give me. Um, apart from my educational career as a um, nursing student, I think, well, as a nursing student, one of the most important things for me is creating change for Sierra Leone. I dedicate my entire brand and my entire being into Sierra Leone. As I was born in Sierra Leone, raised over here, you know, way to, way to go up, you didn't get the, uh, the, I don't know how they call it, the Akata mentality. <laughs> quote unquote, quote unquote, you know, of course, I mean, yeah, yeah, we are, yeah, you, the Akata mentality. And so I wasn't really paying attention to my country as much. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I wasn't paying attention to my country as much. And so when I got older and as I get older, um, it has gotten to a place for me that I can't no longer turn a blind eye. <laughs> you can't turn a blind eye. We can't turn a blind eye. And that is what I just decided to, when you know better, you do better. When you, when you know better, you do better. Look, you see, admire, you see that she's doing this. Okay, she knows better. She's, she's positively uplifting the country. When you see Ziggy, he's trying to do something. When you right. see your brother and your sister, they do better. When you know better, you do better. When you're educated, you do better. When you have the knowledge, whether it be your talent, whether it be your gift, no matter what it is, you have to know how to use it. And so one of the, the key things that I appreciate about this entire thing is that we're able to come together and do better. My goal for Sierra Leone, I want to empower the youth. I want us to get motivated about our lives. I want us to have not just for work no more, for money no more, or get degree no more for this, but really get motivated about your life, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and all. Not so for just way to go through something no more. Hey, uh, turn down the mountain, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. But really looking at the person, because as someone that has been through mental health, and I just want to, as someone that has been through mental health, it's really important that we advocate and we speak on mental health as Africans and Sierra Leoneans. We speak on your health. We speak on 
your 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 well being. Talk about are you really okay? You know, those those are the topics that how you doing, sis? How you didn't do? Really? Not so for just look the person again and say this pussy I don't got back again. You know, eh, they don't can cause noise. So oh no, nah, do they do and so? Sometimes people are going through things mentally, mentally, and we don't discuss these things. Even as entertainers, even as performers, even as doctors, even as um as financial advisors, even as creative directors, all of these things start from your mind. Anything to the iPhone that we use, to anything that we use, all of it starts from our mind. As a man thinketh, so shall he be. So teaching our people, really, sometimes people just don't know better. And that's why the whole point of this is just bringing <clears throat> people together. My entire vision, I want Sierra Leoneans, the youth, to be inspired to be together. I want to make we like we stuff again. I want to make we all we all, you know, all we stuff say, nah, bro. I'm not even about to look at him in a strange way. That's my brother. When, 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 um, when, a foreign, when another foreigner knows a, a good opportunity, they bring somebody in, i.e. Spanish people. I, I, I'm sorry, but I got to talk about it the way I see it. Hispanic people, it'd be like 16 of them in one house. But they have a goal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have a goal. It doesn't mean that we all have to be 16 of us in one house. No. Unity. That is the first thing. Unity. Justice and freedom. The first thing. If we, are we allowed to even speak our minds? Are you even allowed mm -hmm. to say, Hey, boy, boy, let's me, boy, I know they for this today. Mm -hmm. Hey, boy, you know, are you able to really speak how you feel? So I just want to be that advocate that... One to change the entire uh, the change the entire entertainment industry, but first of all, let us all get educated on our minds. Let us all take them seriously. Mental health, your physical well being. What are you putting in your body? This body of yours that you're driving every day. What are you putting in it? What is the fuel that you're giving back to it? What do you give? Because if you're not okay, you cannot make somebody else okay, at all, at all. Everybody here on this brand and I mean everybody here on this platform is able to do something because they're 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 okay. They're doing what they're supposed to do. They're taking care of themselves first in order to give back. So as a as a nursing student, what I've learned is if you want to do that, you want to be a nurse, you want to take care of everybody else, take care of yourself first. When you change, the entire world changes, the perspective changes, the people, the people respond to you differently. The entire environment is different. Make we educate with people on mental health. Make we educate with people that say, yes, you come up from struggle, but you're able to go to glory. Yes, you come up from this. This is your story, but yes, you're able to up. You're able to grow. Become something. Become somebody. And no matter where your field is. And so even from the creatives to the doctors, to the to the financial advisors, to the lawyers, to the magistrates, to the honorable that where they go in salon, everybody has some form of quote unquote disability. But how do you use that to become your ability? And that's through your mind, through empowering people, teaching people. Ralph can now talk to me about finance because he's been that road. He's been on that journey. So now I can go to Ralph for a class and learn and get educated. Mm -hmm. As a philanthropist, Troy can tell me, and also as a real estate agent, Troy can tell me, hey, auntie, go buy land on this side. Go do this on this side. Go do this on this side. So my vision for Sierra Leone is for all of us to come together as one. Unity. We all work together for to move this network of Sierra Leone go before more. We said we deserve 6G, not so 5G anymore. So overall, I mean, the best way you guys can support me is just supporting my journey for now, and that's by following me and by everybody tuning into this conference, by supporting me, by whenever you guys need something, I'm here as well. Whatever I can do, whatever my service to you can be, it does not even matter. If you just need to just call, talk to me, that is a service. Whatever the case may be, we can all come together for Propel Sierra Leone Forward and educate one another because this is education for me. I don't see that I had two hours with wonderful people. This is education. 
and when I they tell we what to do, how for go before, creative wise, educationally, make we create better hospitals like what Rocky has in, in, in store to create a better hospital, not so for where you just go connect connect no more than left you so. <laughs> no, serious. It's serious though. It's serious. I want to be able to open pharmacies, good drugs, great drugs for the people. For the people, proper drugs, not to them Chinese medicine, the way to go, excuse me, I don't mean to get out of my pocket, but not to them medicine, the normal way to go, it's like, hey, take this normal, you know, proper health thing. As the African people, for years and years on end, we have been the prominent people. Sierra Leone has all these minerals. Sierra Leone has all these wonderful things. Why do other people need to come in to tell us how to use it? And in the same interest, they exploit us. So it's really up to us, really up to the collective. When you see your Sierra Leone brother, when you see your Sierra Leone sister, help out. And it can, your help can be as simple as, are you okay? It's going to be okay. Your help can be simple as, well, let me show you and let me teach you how. So, you know, without further ado, let me not overwrap you, overwrap you. Happy independence. Hey. Hey. I think, I think, I think it's Happy important to also say that um, I, I commend you, um, Jasmine. It's important to say this. Uh, as young as you are, to even have the vision to say, oh, I want to bring everybody together. Let's, you know, inform the people. I am beyond proud of you. I am so happy that, you know, you took that, you know, acknowledge the fact that you weren't in your roots and you took that step to actually take that, um, that push to actually get within your roots. Because again, that's something as Leonians, our parents don't necessarily like how Nigerians are always rooted. We don't have that, you know, some of us do have to go out of our way to learn our culture. So big ups to you for having this vision. Thank you. Thanks, Jasmine. Um, together. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much. Very <laughs> Thank you, guys. Appreciate it's a team that. effort. Definitely. It's a team effort, and I pray that next year, 2020, I mean, 2021, SlyCon, we can sit again and then we discuss about what, you know, what we have accomplished and what we're doing to push Sierra Leone forward again. And I cannot do this without you guys. I cannot do this without every member on this. This is like a virtual parliament, you know? <laughs> virtual parliament. I'm really excited. I can't do this without you guys. And I'm grateful. Thank you, Rocky, Queen Rocky, the beautiful Queen Rocky. Thank you, Mohammed, our beautiful med student, our handsome med student. Oh, yo. Can be beautiful. Hold on, hold on. Miss <laughs> 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 Admire, the beautiful, purple headed, shining queen. Yeah. Mr. Ralph, first of all, we're all going to come to you, okay? Because I can DM you, check your DM now. Right now. 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 <laughs> Hey, Seth, we got to get in these webinars, man. Troy, we need rebranding. Us Sierra Leone artists, we need rebranding. A lot of us Sierra Leone artists, I'm going to put us all on the map. We need rebranding, bro. We need you. We need you. And Miss Marjo, thank you so much for continuously just empowering the youth that they can be someone. Your yeah. talent can put food on the thank table. Thank you. You know, thank you for that. And that that is just one of the most beautiful things. Hindolo, yes, you're Thanks. on WhatsApp. Hello? Yes, we want to thank you so much for joining this conference. We appreciate you. Uh -huh. And thank you so much for your input. And I pray that God continues to allow us to support each other in everything that we all do.
Hello, man. We thank you. We appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. And he's I'm, working I'm directly so with the youth. So. Thank you, guys. And if we can get like a big slice on 2020 all together with a big smile on our faces, just to complete this. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? One, two, three. Slice on I know I'm not smiling. I love each and every one of you guys individually. Pray that God covers each and every one of you guys. Amen. Amen. And we continue to make a difference and make a change in Syria. God bless you guys. I pray. Amen. God bless you too. God bless you, God bless you guys. Keep pushing. Amen. Amen. Right. Stay safe, guys. Stay safe. Corona. Stay safe from Just COVID. Just Trump. Amen. Bye, guys. Keep them, keep them, keep them. Now forget them. King, we now forget them. King Jimmy, now forget them.